This tutorial will explain how to create a model template for a lower body gait model. The model template is an MDH file which can be saved and applied to multiple subjects. The most important thing to remember when creating a model is that there is no default Visual 3D model. There are many ways to define each segment and the correct definition is dependent on the user's end goal. First, a standing calibration trial must be loaded into the workspace and then the various segments can be defined to create the model template. When defining a model, it is important to note the difference between anatomical markers and tracking markers. Anatomical markers are placed at anatomically relevant locations, such as bony landmarks near segment endpoints. These markers will be used to define the segment coordinate system. When defining the segments, they will be highlighted in yellow. Tracking markers are placed at convenient locations for tracking segments. These are generally locations that will not be obstructed during the subject's movement and have minimal tissue movement. When defining the segments, they will be highlighted in blue. Once the target's IDs are turned on, the target IDs will be displayed in the 3D viewer. There are many possible marker sets for a pelvis segment that make sense anatomically and have a history in the biomechanics community. The Coda Pelvis will create hip joint centers automatically using estimates from the Bell & Brand articles for prediction of hip joint center. Body mass and height are specific to each subject and will need to be changed for individual subjects. Select the correct ASIS and PSIS target IDs. If PSIS target IDs are not used and only a sacrum marker is used, enter the sacrum target ID into both PSIS option boxes. Once the pelvis segment has been created, the thigh can be created using the hip joint center as the proximal end of the thigh. The location of the hip joint center was created automatically from the coda pelvis. Since one target is being used to define the proximal end, the radius of the thigh should be entered manually or defined using an equation, such as half the interacis distance. Use the medial lateral knee targets to identify the distal end of the thigh segment. Select the four targets on the thigh cluster as the tracking targets. Before creating the shank segment, create a landmark to represent the knee joint center. The knee joint center should be along the line of the medial lateral knee targets. Place halfway between the two targets, and the target will only be needed for the calibration trial. Landmarks will appear as purple targets in the 3D viewer. As with all segments, there are numerous ways to define the shank. For this example, use the virtual knee joint center to identify the proximal end of the shank. Once again, multiple equations can be used to define the proximal end radius, such as half the distance between the medial lateral knee targets or the distal radius of the thigh. Select the medial lateral ankle targets as the distal end of the segment. Select the four targets on the thigh cluster as the tracking targets. Before creating the foot, create a landmark to define the ankle joint center and a virtual toe target. The ankle joint will be midway between the medial lateral ankle targets and should be calibration only. The virtual toe target will be projected from the placed toe target onto the plane created between the calcaneus and the metatarsals markers. To create the foot, define the ankle joint center as the proximal end of the segment using the distal radius of the shank segment. Next, define the distal end of the foot using the virtual toe target and set the radius as halfway between the metatarsals. Use the fifth met as an extra target to define the lateral orientation of the segment. Select the targets on the foot as tracking targets.
A second kinematic only foot is often used to normalize the ankle angle to give a more clinically relevant angle. Although there are many ways to create a kinematic foot, one method is to set the proximal joint to the heel landmark and the distal joint to the right toe. To create the foot, define the calcaneus as the proximal end of the segment. Since this segment is kinematic only, the radius will not be used for any calculations and can be set to any value such as 0.01. Next, to find the distal end of the foot using the virtual toe target and set the radius as 0.01. Use the fifth met as an extra target to define the lateral orientation of the segment. Select the targets on the foot as tracking targets. So the segment coordinate system of the kinematic foot is consistent with the knee and hip coordinate systems. The kinematic foot coordinate system must be modified. Turn off the bone segments and target IDs to better see the segment coordinate system. Select RFT2 and set the AP axis to positive Z and the distal proximal axis to negative Y. The segment coordinate system of the foot is now aligned with the shanks coordinate system. Since the right thigh has been created, the Guess Properties button can be used to create the left thigh. Once a button has been pressed, Visual 3D will auto-populate the segment identifications. After creating the segment, check that the distal and proximal ends of the segment, as well as tracking markers, have been identified correctly. Since the shank and foot segments are created off user identified landmarks, these landmarks will need to be identified before the segments can be created. The left knee target should be along the line of the medial-lateral knee targets, placed halfway along this line and only used for calibration. The left ankle target should be along the line of the medial-lateral ankle targets, placed halfway along this line and only used for calibration. The left virtual toe target should be on the plane created between the calcaneus and metatarsals markers projected from the left toe target. Create the left shank segment and select guest properties. Once the options have been auto-populated, check that the distal and proximal ends of the segment as well as tracking markers have been identified correctly. Create the left foot segment and select Guest Properties. Once the options have been auto-populated, check that the distal and proximal ends of the segment as well as tracking markers have been identified correctly. Create the left kinematic foot by creating a second foot segment and selecting Guest Properties. Once the options have been auto-populated, check that the distal and proximal ends of the segment as well as tracking markers have been identified correctly. So the segment coordinate system of the kinematic foot is consistent with the knee and hip coordinate systems. The kinematic foot coordinate system must be modified. Once the segments have been identified, the model file can be saved and applied to future files. Clear the workspace by pressing File New. Open the static C3D file and apply the model template. Make sure to change any subject-specific measures in the model template, such as subject height and weight. 